gamers i'm back with another video and today we're going to be talking about english i've done the six videos uh for the all the new civs played them uploaded a video gave my opinion what needs to be changed nerf buff and so on where the place in the in the you know meta is if you will and how the civ is going to be played in the future and then people said why don't you do it for the old civs as well and i was like all right that's what you want which chat wanted it so here we are so i feel like there, there's like two types of english there's a type of english in tournaments and there's a type of english on the ladder english in tournaments is not played that much i'm going to discuss the top level and i'm going to discuss the ladder after okay english at the very very top level is not very very played at all even on hybrid maps these days so it doesn't get to see a lot of play and it doesn't it never gets banned either why is this? Well, the current meta is usually cavalry with archers, cavalry into spearmen, fast castle age ups, uh, you know, getting the relics, getting the map control, stuff like that. So basically, you have a few playstyles. You have the playstyle of castle rushing, 2TC, all in it, and that's it, right? Castle rush 2TC or all in it. Now, the problem is English, if you play it on, you know, maps where you can go for an all in, Usually, like maps like Dry Arabia or, you know, some kind of open map. The problem with picking English there is that you always fight a Night Civ. And a Night Civ is always good against English. Like Delhi is good, even though they don't have Knights, they have Ghazi Raiders. Delhi is good against English. French is good against English. Jean Dark is good against English. Rus is good against English. You kind of get the point. So the maps that you want to play English to be super aggressive kind of gets already countered by the civs that are played there in tournaments now on hybrid maps the reason we don't see english uh, as much anymore we still st still see it to an extent but the reason why we don't see english on like uh, you know golden heights or dry river and maps like that too much is because they have received a men in arm nerf where they got um i think minus one armor or maybe it was less damage i can't remember but this was a nerf a while back like a few months ago and since then, uh, English used to be like a sieve that if you go on hybrid map, you make med at arms, you just kill everything, you know. But now other sieves can actually make spearmen and kill your men at arms because they can make more spearmen than you can men at arms and it can kind of overwhelm you. Minus one melee armor, yeah, yeah. So the problem is uh, it's okay on water maps. Now we also have all the new sieves trickling in. So English had some good matchups previously, like you could play on canal let's say or dry river you could play english against ottoman you could play english against hre or english against china or you know english against delhi well not so much and you could do okay the only civ that was pretty bad for you was mongol but now there's more civs there's japanese that is played on water that is very very good and Japanese on land against English is not the greatest matchup for Japanese, but Japanese on hybrid maps against English is very good for Japanese. And then you also have civs like Jean d'Arc that we've seen some people play on hybrid maps too. Uh, you have potentially Jushi's Legacy and stuff like that, which is not played on the hybrid maps too much, but it used to have like three good matchups is my main point, and then one bad, and now it kind of has like three good matchups and two, three bad matchups. The problem is because players, you know, play their best civs on hybrid maps. The civs that are best on hybrid maps right now are the ones that counter English. So people tend to avoid playing English at the top level. For that reason, and for another reason, which is what I mentioned earlier, English is not cavalry civ. Um, yes, you can open Abbey of Kings and go, uh, you know, into horsemen, but that that's not quite the same. Their economy is also a bit... Uh, slow compared to the other civs. You don't have any eco bonuses. I'm not including farms into that. So even if you want to rush castle, you can't really do that. Other civs can do it better. So let's say you played on a map where you rush castle and HRE or Japanese or Ayubids are played there. You cannot rush castle at the same speed that they can. They will beat you to it. If you play English on a map where 2TC is played and you want to go 2TC yourself, if you're playing against Abbasid or against China, you will get outboomed. So at the top level, it seems that wherever you want to play English, other civs will do it better because in tournaments, if we have seven maps and we have 16 civs, there's always basically a better option, right? English is not a top two water civ. English is not a top two um, open map civ. English is not a top two castle rush civ. 
So because of these things, English is not being picked. Now, does this mean that English is, is bad? No, not really. I think English is still a solid sieve and for ladder, I would say it's one of the better sieves because it doesn't really have any hard counters to the point where you feel like you're really, really disadvantaged in a, in a matchup, but it just doesn't have favorable matchups. You know, it's not like, oh, I'm gonna pick English and counter this sieve, right? It's very hard to counter what your opponent is doing. With English, it's more like you can play solid and you can win, but it doesn't excel at anything. You know, the old meta of like putting down farms and then you have safe eco and you're pushing your opponent is, it's not necessarily long time gone, but people figured out how to play against that. People figured out how to expand your economy a lot faster. So that kind of slower style doesn't do as well. Now English does have some strong matchups if you do one TC all in. So I think that English against Jushi's Legacy, China, Abbasid, Japanese and Byzantines. Maybe I'm maybe I'm forgetting some, but I think English is probably the best against those five sieves. And you know what those five sieves have in common? They're not played that much in general at the top level in tournaments. Like yes, Jushi's Legacy is. Japanese is not played on land maps, it's played on hybrid maps, which Japanese will beat English, and then you have Abbasid, China, and Byzantines that did not get to see a lot of play. And this is part of the meta shift that always happens. Sometimes a sieve goes from being very good because I think in the last tournament, English was picked a lot and nothing really happened. English didn't get nerfed. What just ended up happening is the meta shifted. Different sieves are being played on different maps. The boom sieves, like the hard, hard boom sieves like China and Abbasid are not played as much anymore. So the favorable matches that English used to have are not there. So it feels like these days at the top level, in tournaments specifically, you're either you know behind or you're equal. And if you're trying to win tournaments and win money, that's not what you want to go for, right? You want to go for something that has a little bit of a better chance. Now we still saw people play English, so it's not like it's unplayable or something at the top level. Um, I think I've even played it a few times, but I'm just giving you reasons why the save is in a situation that it is. On ladder, on the other hand, I think English is a very solid pick for the same reasons that it sucks in tournaments. That's why it's good on the ladder and that's why overall it's a good sieve still because it doesn't really have any hard, hard counters to the point where it's like, oh, it's... maybe I would say Delhi, but I would say that's probably the only matchup where, where I see that. Maybe Mongols, I would say Delhi and Mongols where I see as like, oh, that's, that's a pretty bad, bad matchup for me, right? Um, and if you think about it, Delhi is, I think, the lowest or second lowest played sieve across all leagues. And then you have Mongol that is usually played on water maps or hybrid maps. So if you stick playing English with, you know, Dry Arabia or Cliffside, you shouldn't meet Mongol. So for ladder, I think English is a great sieve. It doesn't really have any, like, like I said, major weaknesses. You can play it just fine. And my recommendation for you, if you are looking for a build, do the build that I have uploaded on my YouTube, which is just one TC aggression. You know, you build up a lot of spearmen, a lot of longbows. Later on, you transition into men at arms and eventually you age up to castle. I've tried doing some castle rushing with English, but like I said, you don't have any eco bonuses. So you can rush castle, but you don't really get any benefit from it because other sieves can do it better and faster. Regarding what I would change if I were to change something about English, um, I think English's strength is probably having super fast council hall, right? When you age up, you can immediately produce a unit. Same with Abbey of Kings, you can immediately produce a king. I think that's probably the biggest English strength in Feudal Age that you can put pressure on immediately. But right now we do not have maps that are very, very good for English. So if you guys remember Mountain Clearing, uh, used to be extremely good for English. It was a small map, it was a meme map, but it was a small map and you could take the boar on the middle of the map and you could immediately make longbows and attack. You do a super, super fast attack. And then you have some of the tournament maps like Holy Island, where you go water. And it's not like a normal water map. It's, it's like you fight on land and on water at the same time, which English does really well. And those maps are not really in the map pool anymore. So I can see English like being like this as is, and then next tournament we have a new map pool and English suddenly is picked again, right? But overall, I think that the state that English is currently in is okay. 
I think the Civ heavily relies on doing damage in Feudal Age and extending that lead or, or building on that lead. Because, and I've said this since start of the game, English has problems with economy once it hits castle. Like, even if you set up nicely and you're pressuring your opponent and you get some villager kills and you're aging up with uh, King's Palace, which is our second town center, it just doesn't feel like you have enough resources to produce everything. And I mentioned this a long time ago and I suggested this to devs too, Maybe King's Palace should produce villagers cheaper. Like maybe the King's Palace should produce villagers at like 25 foot or 37 foot, 35 foot, whatever. Or they could get slight economic buffs somewhere uh, that would help them in, in castle. I don't know what that would be exactly, but I feel like that's kind of the major problem because Imperial English is obviously still good. You know, you get gold from farms, your units have network of castles slash citadels. So that's still good. Uh, you can still put Dark Age pressure with English with Man at Arm, which is still very good. Um, it's just that if you're doing any kind of strategy where you're going macro, I feel like you're just behind, even though nothing has happened. Which is why I've stopped doing Castle Rushes and I've stopped doing 2TC with English. Because if I do a Castle Rush, I get to Castle and I can barely produce two knights at a time. Because I'm also needing to produce now from King's Palace with a second villager and it just feels like you have no resources to work with. Same thing with 2TC. Um, you know, a lot of civs can go 2TC and rush castle really fast. With English, because you're usually trying to build your economy around your main base and you're not trying to go out on the map for bears and stuff, it feels like if you go 2TC, you're kind of stuck in feudal for a while and the opponent, they can go 2TC, age up and get all the relics and you just kind of feel like, why did I even bother going 2TC when I'm just you know behind and then you get to castle and you're kind of in the same problem you know you're now triple producing villagers and you just can't afford to produce units get all the upgrades that you need um and so on and so forth overall i would say that i would like to see some kind of english economic buff in castle specifically maybe something with king's palace maybe they could use like cheaper eco upgrades i wouldn't mind to see that for example, where this is not like a massive buff. I'm not talking about like 20% gathering speed or something. I'm just talking like maybe they should make their upgrades a bit cheaper for eco or maybe they get a free upgrade when they reach castle or I don't know. Just a little something. If you played English, you know what I mean. That's kind of it. Obviously nerfing, I wouldn't nerf anything. I don't think English is in a state where it's like overpowered or something. Maybe also making English a little bit more specialized for something would be good you know like french for example has the strongest knights in feudal that's their thing so you go knights obviously english has longbows but longbows also make your army very very slow which is kind of a problem in in itself so that's kind of my take on it still if you want to play english if you are an english player good news of english about english is that their build order is fairly simple to follow and they can be played at literally any map, which not many civs can do. I would say maybe like five, six in the game, five civs in the whole game can play on every single map. You can play English on an open map, on a closed map. Uh, you can play it on a hybrid map, on a full water map. It's good everywhere. It's, it's a safe pick, it's a good pick, it's great for a ladder. And I think in order to see it in the tournaments again, we're gonna need to see probably a different, a, a different map or something like that. So. That is it. If you're watching this on YouTube, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, check me out on Twitch. I'm probably live right now. If you're an English gamer, keep enjoying English. It's a great sieve. If you're watching on Twitch, keep going.